we're going to start off we're going to chain one so again keep it loose do a chain one and then we're going to do one single crochet in the next five stitches so in the next five so go into the next stitch one two next stitch three next stitch four next stitch five and then that you can see that brings you up to the wing and you might wonder where to crochet after this but what you want to do is you want to skip the wing so literally just skip all that and then find the next stitch on the main body so ignore all the stitches those three on the wing one two three ignore those then in the next stitch we're going to put our hook and it's right on the corner so it might be easier to tuck your wing on the inside put your hook in that next stitch on the corner make sure to keep the yarn you're using to the back bring the yarn through and again keeping your stitch to the back bring you need to keep that wing to the front it's basically what you want to do so you put your hook into that stitch there and do another single crochet keeping everything to the back so you've got that wing at the front okay so one single crochet in there then one single crochet in the next stitch but before we finish this single crochet we're going to join the white let's go into the next stitch bring the yarn through but instead of yarning over with the blue to finish we're going to yarn over with the white. So we get our white and we just drape that over our hook. Drape. I don't, I don't actually like that word drape. <laughs> Sounds really pretentious. Drape. Drape your yarn over your hook. And I'm just holding it on the inside and then I'm going to bring that through to finish my single crochet and just pull your tail ends to tighten. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do one single crochet in the next five stitches. So holding on to that tail end of white, go into the next stitch and do a single crochet. And if that's a bit loose, you can then just pull your tail end down a bit. So one single crochet in the next five. So it's one, two, three. Four, and then on the fifth one, five, we'll bring the yarn through, but before finishing, we're not going to yarn over with the white, we're going to yarn over with the blue. So I was going to put the white to the side, I'm not going to fasten off with the blue, but try and keep it loose on the inside so it doesn't distort the shape, because if you distort it, it might pull over that side. So just keep it loose, and then yarn over with the blue and then you can pull your white tail end down a bit and then you're working with the blue then we're going to do one single crochet in the remaining stitches but what you want to do is you want to do one single crochet in the next stitch just on the corner of that wing one single crochet in there and then you've got to skip that wing again so you need to find that opposite corner stitch there Okay, so you want to skip the three stitches on the wing, skip that single crochet, skip the half double crochet, skip the double crochet and then that stitch there on the corner you want to do a single crochet but you want to keep the wing to the front so it might be easier to go in, bring the yarn through but before you complete it just tuck that wing to the front underneath and then finish your single crochet. Okay and then we do one single crochet in each stitch to the end one two and three and then we're back at the beginning and we slip stitch to join so there's our fake stitch there's our single crochet uh, chain one rather slip stitch in our chain one okay so it should look a little something like that and you can see you've got some white appearing on his belly we're basically going to sort of repeat that. So moving on to round 
12. We're going to chain one, chain one again, keeping it loose. We do one single crochet in the next seven stitches. So we're going to go into that first stitch, one, next stitch, two, next stitch, three, next stitch, four, next stitch, five, next stitch, which is right underneath that wing, six, and then the next stitch, seven. But what we want to do is we want to bring the yarn through, but before we finish our single crochet, we want to yarn over, not with the blue, but with the white, and keeping it loose on the inside so it doesn't distort, bring that through instead. Let's pull your blue down, and your white gently, and then we're going to do one single crochet in the next five using our white. So, go into that next stitch, one, two, three, four, and then five, but before we finish, instead of yarning over with the white to finish our single crochet, we're going to bring back our blue again, keeping it loose on the inside, yarn over with the blue. And now we're working with our blue again. And then all we do is we just do one single crochet in the last five stitches. So one single crochet in the next stitch, one, and then underneath that wing, two, next stitch, three, next stitch, four, next stitch, five, and then we slip stitch in our chain one, there's our fake stitch and there is our chain one. Slip stitch in there to join the round. And there we go. And your stitch count should still be 18. It shouldn't have changed after you've done the wings. So hopefully you've managed to follow along so far. Okay, then moving on to round 13. Similar method. We're going to chain one. Chain one. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next seven. So there's the first stitch one. Two, next stitch two, next stitch three, next stitch four, next stitch five, next stitch six, then next next I can't speak anymore, stitch seven, but bring the arm through but for finishing our single crochet, we're going to not yarn over with the blue, we're going to yarn over with the white. So keeping it loose on the inside, bring that through, pull down the blue. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next six this time. So one single crochet in the next six, not five, six. Let's go into the next stitch, one, next stitch, two, next stitch three, next stitch four, next stitch five, and then next stitch six. But before, instead of yarning over with the white, on the very last stitch we're going to yarn over with the blue to bring our blue back, like so, pull your white. Then we're going to finish up with one single crochet in the last four in the blue. One, two, three, and four. And then slip stitch in our chain one to join the round. And the reason we did more on the white is because very, very slightly, you can see the seam very slightly moves over. So we want to make sure that our white stays a nice shape on the front, otherwise we'll end up with a sort of slanty belly. 
so that's why. Uh, then what we're going to do is round 14 is just exactly the same as round 13, so we're going to chain one and do one single crochet in the next seven. So first stitch one, next stitch two, next stitch three, next stitch four, next stitch five. And then seven, and the next stitch. But we want to not yarn over with the blue at the very end. We want to yarn over with the white instead. And just pull that blue down. And then we want to do one single crochet in the next um, six, wasn't it? So next stitch, one. Next stitch, two. Three, next stitch four, next stitch five, and next stitch six. But we don't want to yarn over the whites at the end, we want to yarn over with the blue to finish our single crochet. Pull the white, and then we're going to finish up with one single crochet in the last four. Next stitch. One, two, three, and then four. The last one. There's our fake stitch, there's our chain one, slip stitch in your chain one to finish. Okay, so it looks a bit like that. You might do a neater job than me when changing over to your white. And then we're going to move on to round 15 which is our nearly at the end and we're going to chain one again so yarn up keep it loose chain one and we do one single crochet in the next seven like before one two three four And then the last one, seven. But before we finish, we want to not yarn over the blue, we want to yarn over with the white. Keep it fairly loose on the inside. Make sure it's loose. Pull the blue. Then we want to do one single crochet in the next seven this time. So, next stitch, one. Two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. But we want to stop, not yarn over the white, we yarn over with the blue on the seventh one, like so white and then we're going to do one single crochet in the last three one two three and then fake stitch chain one slip stitch in your chain one to join the round now we move on to round 16, which is exactly the same as 15. So chain one, one single crochet in the next seven. One, two, three, Seven, but we stop at the end, we want to join the white on our last stitch to finish that single crochet, put the blue down, and then we're going to do one single crochet in the next seven in the white, 
Next seven, so one, two, three, four, Last one seven we want to stop at the very end before finishing our single crochet we rejoin the blue and then we finish up with one single crochet in the last three one two three then we just slip stitch in that chain one there's our fake stitch there's our chain one It nice and loose. So there we go, that's the end of round 16 and it should look a little something like that so far. Okay, so now we're going to basically do his feet and we don't need the white anymore so you can trim off the white so it doesn't get tangled. Then you can just tuck that on the inside if you want to. Get it out of the way. And now we're going to work on the last um, or near the last round, so round 17, chain one to begin, and we do one single crochet in the next nine this time. So, go into the next stitch, next nine. So, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we want to do is chain four, same as the wings, chain four, one, two, three, and four. Then in our second stitch from hook, we're going to do a single crochet, so we don't count the loop on our hook as our first stitch and as our second effectively your third chain, so a single crochet in there, then the next chain we do a half double crochet, and then the last chain we do a double crochet, double crochet like that. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next four stitches, so we go back onto the white find that next stitch and do one single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, four, like so. We do the same thing again, chain four. One, two, three, four. And in our second stitch from hook we do a single crochet. Next chain, do a half double crochet. Next stitch, last stitch, do a double crochet. Like so. And then we're just going to do one single crochet in the last four. Let's get back into the next stitch on the white. One, two, three and four and then we slip stitch to join in our chain one. So now you've created his little feet like so, you should look a little something like that. Then we're going to close up the bottom so to do that we're going to chain one. You should still have a stitch count of 18. We're going to reduce it back down to uh, 12 I think. <laughs> I'm going to chain one and single crochet two stitches, next two stitches together. Let's go into the next stitch, pull through, stop, next stitch, pull through, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. Just one single crochet. That's normal. Then we're going to single crochet the next two together. So go into the next stitch, pull through, stop, Next stitch, 
pull through, three loops, yarn over, pull through, all three. Repeat the same thing again, one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet the next two together. So next stitch, pull through, stop, next stitch, pull through, three loops, yarn over, pull through, all three. Then in the next stitch, which is going to be on the corner of that foot, we do one single crochet, just the one. And then we need to single crochet the next two together, and the next two is going to be the other side. So you want to skip this foot, same as we did on the wings. So you want to skip those three stitches on the foot, and in the corner of that foot, put it to the back first. You want to put your hook in there. That next stitch, you got one, two, three, four. So skip those three on the foot, and the next stitch, bring a yarn through, but stop and also push that foot forward. Through. Okay, so it's at the front, and then we want to go into the next stitch, pull through. So you've got your three loops, yarn over, pull for all three. Okay, then one single crochet in the next stitch, just the one. Then we want to single crochet the next two together. So the first stitch is on the corner there, bring the yarn through, stop, and the next stitch is gonna want to skip the foot. One, two, three, and in that corner one, that fourth one, I want to put your hook in there, bring the yarn through so you get your three loops, but then push that foot forward through there, so it's at the front, yarn over, pull for all three. Okay, then one single crochet by itself in the next stitch, and that leaves you with two stitches, and we want to single crochet those two together. Next stitch, pull through, stop. Last stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Then slip stitch to join. And what you want to do at this point is stuff your body. So I'm just going to pull up the yarn. And we now want to just get some more toy stuffing and stuff the body. Okay, so when you've finished stuffing the main body, we're going to rejoin our hook, put our hook back in. And then all we're going to do is we're not going to chain one at the beginning, so we're not chaining one anymore. We're basically just going to single crochet two stitches together until it gets too fiddly and then just sew the remaining gap closed. So I'm just going to single crochet without chaining one, just going to single crochet two stitches together. Next stitch, pull through, next stitch, pull through. Take the three loops, yarn over, pull through three. So just keep doing that until the hole gets smaller. Sort of back at the beginning. I'm actually going to go into that fake stitch. Just single crochet together. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the remaining yarn and pull it up till it comes through. Get the yarn needle and hide this tail end. First thing I'm going to do is just sew up that remaining gap. I'm just going to go into the next stitch, then out for the next one. Pull that in, then into the next stitch and out the ne next one, as if you're drawstringing it closed. To the next stitch, over, till it's completely closed. And to hide the tail end, I'm just going to sew in, come out on the body somewhere, preferably out for a stitch. Don't pull too tightly. And then I'm going to go back in where I came out, exactly where I came out. Go over somewhere else and out a stitch, doesn't matter where. Again, that disappears on the inside. Go back in where I came out, come out somewhere else. Let go, and then I'm just going to push the body down, hold the tail end, trim as close as I can, let go, and the tail end just disappears on the inside. So that hides our tail end. And there we go, there is our bulk of our little penguin.
is actually a bit bigger than his friend for reasons I'm not quite sure. Unless I did use a 3mm for this one crochet hook and this is a 3.5. But it just goes to show you can use any yarn weight or crochet hook suitable for the yarn you're using and you get different sizes. What we're going to do now is just going to sew on a couple of eyes. So I'm going to get a little bit more of white yarn. Get a little length, about that much. Sew it onto our needle. I'm just going to go in one side, roughly out the other. Looks a bit brutal. Need a bit of a tail end like that, and I like to do just go over slightly. So where that's where I came out, just go over slightly, just down, then come over to the other side. Again, just slightly over and down from where you went in. Creates a little dot. That's almost disappeared. I might have gone over too far, so I'm going to go back in where I started, which should finish this eye, and try that again. Come out again. There we go. Go over a little bit more this time, because obviously I went too close. And then actually, I'm going to come down out of the belly instead. Okay. That should create a little dot of yarn, that's better. Then don't pull too tightly. Then we just need to hide our tail end the same way we did for our closing up the bottom. Let's so come over slightly, go back over, doesn't really matter where. Just make sure that disappears on the inside. If you go back in where you came out, let go, push down, hold your tail end, trim, and then that disappears on the inside. And then for this one, just to finish this eye off a bit, I'm just going to go slightly over the eye, come down. Out through the white, should create a little eye, don't pull too tight, and then just hide the tail end. So we'll do same principle push down, trim, and disappears on the inside. So there we go, we've got some little tiny eyes. It might be a little bit too small actually, you might want to do a better job like I did on here. But that'll do for now. <laughs> Next thing to do is we're going to work on a little scarf and that's really, really simple. To do the scarf, all we're going to do is we're going to take our scarf colour and take the same crochet hook you were using and we're going to chain three to begin. Chain three. One, two and three. And in our second stitch from hook, in that second chain, we're going to do half double crochet. Half double crochet. And in that first chain, last chain, we're going to do a half double crochet as well. So we end up with two half double crochets. One, two, stitch count of two. Then we're going to do an X row. We're going to chain one. Don't count that as a stitch. It's just a turning chain. Then in that first stitch, we're going to do half double crochet. And then in the next stitch, the last stitch, we'll do a half double crochet as well. So you've got a stitch count of two. Okay. And the same thing again, chain one, don't count as a stitch, turn, go into the first stitch, do a half double crochet. And then a half double crochet in the last stitch. And you basically want to do about 24 rows of these two stitches. So chain one, don't count as a stitch, turn go into that first stitch, do a half double crochet. So you want to do 24 rows or until you're happy with the length of the scarf that you want basically. Okay, so I'm going to do that, just repeating the same method until I've got a little scarf. Okay, so just going up to the 
last stitch on a 24th row. I'll stop there. You might want to make it longer if you want to. And then I'm just going to cut the yarn, pull through, and then I'm just going to hide these tail ends. You may, if you want to, you may want to add little tassels on the end if you wanted to, but I'm just going to keep this simple for the sake of this video. You may even want to use a sparkly yarn as well, which could be quite nice. Or even make it stripy if you're good at uh, joining colours. Then hide these tail ends. Just sew through some stitches. Trim the excess. And there we go. And all that's left to do is to wrap it round your little penguin's neck. And his eyes could do with being a bit bigger. <laughs> But I do believe this our little penguin is finished. So there we go, there's our little penguin tutorial. And I hope you liked him. Maybe you even want to make a family of penguins. <laughs> I hope you managed to follow along. And uh, yeah, I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs>